Alrighty, here's a quick little video review of a set I picked up on the way into work today. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it. Um, and then I just said, you know what? Just, we got the money. It looks cool. Bite the bullet and do it. Now, it's like 34 bucks at Target for this. So, pro you, and it's about the same, I think, all if you actually go to the Mega Block store online. Um, if you find it at Walmart, it might be, you know, like, Thirty four ninety seven, or maybe even like thirty two ninety seven. You know, like it may it may be a buck or two cheaper, but that's about the price you're going to find it for right now. Um, it is only um, one hundred and fifty pieces. Now that's a little misleading because you got like everything on the back here. All these little pieces were left over, so you had some extra pieces, um, as well as the fact that there's all the stuff. But but it is. I mean, it's a smaller pe numbered piece set for for what you're paying for, but. Instead, you're getting, like, basically two characters, one of which is very large, as you can see. Um, I think I, I think it's worth the price. I, like, bigger sets, I'd want to have more pieces. Um, I debated it, and having built it now, like, I'm really happy with it. Like, the, the build is actually a lot more fun than, uh, than when I was, and a lot more involved than I was expecting. It looks fairly simple, and there's actually a little bit more to it. It's nothing super detailed, but, um, but I did have, like I said, I had a good time building it. It was worth the money for me. Um, mostly, like, uh, focus here on Arthas and his, uh, snow ice throne here. Uh, I mostly wanted Arthas here. Um, he's cool. I like the mini block figures. Um, I've got a couple other Warcraft figures, and I really just wanted Arthas with Frost Frostmourne here. Um, and again, like, they've, they've got some nice range of posability. They're a little bit more mobile than, than Lego people. You know, they've got knee joints and ball-jointed heads and things like that. Uh, you can pull the armor off and put it on a different character if you wish. Um, so if you get, like, a worgen or one of the humans, you can swap it onto them as well. Um, although, again, if you swap the helmet on, it's just going to be Arthas again. So, <laughs> anyway, there's that. And one of the things that's neat is, uh, Frostmourne, there's actually a place to store it in the ice. They're on the actual throne piece, which is kind of cool. Um, you can also pull this off. There's a, and it comes. There's a little clip that I'll show you here in a minute uh, that you can plug into his back and store Frostmourne across his back. But like, I really just prefer the cape. Like, if Frostmourne comes out of the holder, it's because he's holding it. I, I don't store it. Like, so, like so storing a slinger across his back on some of the guys that come with like the Griffin when they're riding the Griffin. Nah, that makes sense. You know, sl sling the weapon across the back. But uh, for Arthur, it stores right there. Um, the throne itself is made up, as you can see, it's a, one, this, the white piece is one solid piece, despite the fact that it looks like a couple different levels. Um, so uh, that's, that's a little disappointing. I was hoping to maybe put a little bit more together on that. But everything else, you can see that as it, as it falls off of here, <laughs> um, is, uh, is clear, some clear blue blocks. Uh, these, these, these pieces in the back here, like I said, everything behind the throne here is extra that I just stuck there for storage. But there's a really neat mix of, like, some dark blue and some white in with the clear blue plastic to really kind of give some depth to the ice, and it, re and it really comes across very well. It's really, really neat. Um, but, but it is just a, kind of a basic throne. There's some little gaps and crevices in it. Um, but it was a fun build. Um, and, yeah, and then there's the Arthas part of this set. Um, the bigger set here, obviously, is uh, Cindergosa, which is his, uh, you know, reanimated ice dragon here, bone and ice, and this build was actually really, really cool. Um, I, I think the the, over, the the end result is a, is a really nice looking dragon. Uh, maybe not as big as, as, as I, I hoped, just looking at, when you see the box, um, it's much smaller. Like, here's the size of the box, um, just to give you an idea. It looks like a nice giant box and then you get a couple little figures in it uh and most of the warcraft sets are like that like even the uh the little ten dollar or eleven dollar uh griffin with rider like the box is like this big can't we really show up but then like the griffin ends up being much smaller it's okay because it really is there's a lot of neat detail in here like building all the little this backbone uh this isn't one solid piece in the middle it's a couple of side pieces attached to a whole assembly in the middle and it's actually quite fun to build. Like I said, I had a really, really good time building it. Um, it wasn't tedious, but it was fun, and it was neat seeing it all come together. And then at the end of it, you've got uh, you know, the dragon's mouth opens and closes. Um, you've got a ball joint here, a ball joint here. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 ball joints on this thing. Giving you a great range of motion in the head and neck area, on the legs, um, as well as even the wings, like there's and there's grooves in these ball joints, so like you can bring it up, 
and you can bring, like I said, you can really, with that groove, you can get it all the way down uh, and around. If you want it to just come down a little bit, there's a smaller groove on the other side, so you can have it sit there and not have to worry about it drooping because you've got that smaller uh, groove in place, and so you can have the wings up like that. You want to give the rings more of a flapping motion, you can do that and get a lot more range of motion. Now, if you want to have it with the wings down, um, that's that. Then, you know, the tail, obviously, you can just, just let you, pretty much just let you bend it whichever way you want the tail. Um, and the legs, again, a lot of the same thing. So it's really, overall, a nice dragon build, and I'm quite happy with it. Um, I like putting the wings back like that. But um, it's entirely up to you. So, yeah, I think I think it's worth the $35. It's a, a Lego set for 35 bucks with only 150 pieces. I don't know if I'd say go all in on. Um, and, you know, like I like playing WoW. Uh, I just got back into it. Actually, since I got the Lego set, so I'm like, ah, you know what? I haven't flown my Griffin in a while. Maybe I should. And uh, got and picked up a couple of sets and got back into the game. But uh, but yeah, there it is, the uh, Lich King with Cindergrosa Mega Block set. I, I do highly recommend it. It's, it's really cool and a lot of fun. Um, if you're looking for me on the game, I play on Shadow Council uh, in the U.S. Uh, my main character's name is Halwyn. Uh, he's an 85, level 85 Draenei Paladin. Um, I've got a Worgen Hunter, and I've got a Dwarf Warrior, and I've got a Human Death Knight are my four characters. Um, and I may start some Horde characters. I'm definitely going to make a Pandaren uh, when that expansion drops next month. So anyway, there's all my gaming habits for you. Um, but yeah, there you go. There is the Mega Bloks World of Warcraft Lich King with Cindergrosa. Alrighty, and real quick, I forgot to show this off in the video review for, uh, in the full video review, but each of the bigger World of Warcraft sets comes with a little, uh, as you can see here, a mystery bag for mystery loot. Uh, everything bigger than the, uh, the, like the Griffin and Ryder sets, Any, anything more expensive than 12 bucks, comes with a little uh, loot pack. I got a two-handed mace. Uh, you can get different weapons or armor in these packs, uh, and there's a little clip I was telling you about that you can use to clip any other weapens to uh, uh, Lich King's back. But yeah, I got a two-handed mace. I don't know if it's a particularly special one, but uh, that was my special loot piece.